All right, everyone, this is day two of working on doping the plane. Let me get you guys down a little bit lower. There we go. All right, uh, first coat was done uh, a couple days ago, and I'm back down here again getting ready to do coat number two. What I think I'm going to do, I'm just making sure that this is just right now just lacquer thinner. I'm just loosening up the bristles. Um, what I think I'm going to do first, I was going to put two coats on and then um, go ahead and put some filler on uh, in the spots. I think I'm going to come in right now and put the filler on now and then later on in the day. So it's going to be, you know, I'll be down here several times during the day. Um, I think I'll put the filler on. So I'm going to go ahead, little spots on the wing, I want to throw some filler on it. Uh, and on the fuselage, I still want to finish up that nose part. And then there's a couple little spots towards the tail. Um, and what I did is I mixed up two different types. I took some very light, uh, I don't even know what you want to call it. They call it, they call it fill and paint or something like that. It's a very light weight. And what I did was I came in and it was so dry, I added a little bit of uh, water to it and stirred it in there. So it's, it's, it should work out nicely. It's, it's got a good, it's got a good touch to it. We'll find out. I'm going to do a test with it. Um, I'll set up a little test board for both. But I thin that out a little bit just to see if I can get that to work better going into the cracks on the wing. And the other thing I did was that my hobby light that I have had for probably, I don't know, at least 15 years, if not more, it was really getting dry. So I did the same thing. So I, I added liquid to it and it's got a it's got a very nice, very light pace to it. It's a little bit too much on the thin side. Um, so I'm letting it sit now just like the other stuff because I think there is balsa or is there some wood involved in this because it's a filler. Uh, I'm letting it completely absorb all the moisture, all the water that was put in there. And then we'll see how well that goes. If not, um, you know, I just have to go to the hardware store and get some mix your own uh, drywall mud. So that'd work out well too. So anyway, just uh, wanted to let you guys know where I'm at right now on it. And I will get everything uh, filled and I'll bring it back just to show you everything that I filled. And that's going to be prior to me sanding the fill. So see you in a bit. All right. It's been a couple days since I've been back down in the shop uh, working more than a half hour, 45 minutes. Um, my biggest battle is just getting, it's getting the filler put on and then waiting and waiting and waiting. And some of the spots were a little bit thicker and the stuff that I thinned down took forever to, to dry. So, um, I've got the fuselage pretty much. There's a couple little things. I'm just going to do a couple real light little skim coats. Um, do a final sand on it and then one more coat of nitrate dope and then, um, a 320 sandpaper and then we'll start covering all right the wing on the other hand I uh, the wing was pretty much ready to go I was uh, I just got done doing the final sanding and started uh, putting nitrate dope on it and I don't know if you can see it I dropped it so that's gonna be another patch and uh, it, it sounded like it took more, it almost sounded like a couple of the, uh, the joints pop on the inside, but I cannot find where, I can't find anything loose. So I think it was just the sound of the, uh, of the wood hitting. This is what it hit. This is on my little vacuum cleaner. It hit this and that's what punched into it. So, um, you know, it, it's not that big of a deal. I, what I did was I did the old fashioned, because it's balsa with the compression, I injected some water into it and then hit it with a heat gun and expanded probably about, I don't know, brought it about 75% out from how much it was pushed in. So it's dry now, so I'm just going to go ahead and we'll put some filler on there and then uh, let that dry. So it's going to take a couple hours for it to set up, so we'll let that dry and then... Uh, I don't know, probably do a final sanding on it. So um, so as of right now, I'm just kind of in a limbo holding mode. I mean, everything else, all these these pieces have been done. That's sanded, ready to go. 
the ailerons there's one little thing I want to figure I want to do on the aileron uh, and that's just going to be a real light little skim coat that should dry real quick uh, do the final sand on that and then that'll be done um, and like I said the fuselage the only thing I'm still battling a little bit is this up here and because you guys won't be able to see it but I can see it when I hold it up to the light that it's the, the, the filler that I put on here it flaked off it was too thin it was it was it didn't have a good enough bond to it so um, and that was that light the very lightweight stuff that I added water to it just wasn't sticking so I'm going back to the stuff out of the squeeze tube and uh, I'll go ahead and skim coat that on it's it works I just don't like using it because it's kind of a pain in the butt it's a little bit too thick but if I put it on I could do a real light skim on it and it should work all right I've got all the repairs done for the damage when I dropped it now what you're going to be able to see is you're going to be able to see what the damage was this was the spot right here where it uh, where it had the big the big dent in it and so with uh, with the water and the uh, and the heat uh, it made the wood re-expand up so it's for as big as that little dent was it's just a little teeny one now so so that's sealed that's all covered up there was another one a little bit farther up that got hit uh, so that one got taken care of and then on the top the leading edge you can see the scratches up here on the top uh, so I had to fill that too and then here on the bottom there was another little one right there so this goes to show you if you're not paying attention you could do damage all right so I started covering this part right here and uh, I'll just speed it up give you guys some music and you can watch me do the last coat
I'm pretty happy with it. A couple little things I might want to readdress before it gets covered. Um, so it won't be getting covered right now. But uh, what it is, what I kind of want to see if I can get it to a position where I can let you know what I want to do. There's a couple little spots that I should probably just let go because I think that the covering is going to hide it and then I can always make a slight adjustment with the on top of the covering spray a little bit of uh, <coughs> primer on it sand it it still has to do with these transitions this side this actually feels better than it looks I think we're gonna be good it's what it does let me see if I can show you it looks kind of blotchy up on the top section up right in here but when you run your finger across, you can't feel it. So what I think it is, I think that's because the first filler that I used was the same color of the uh, um, of the wood itself. It was a balsa uh, filler. So um, so that's what I think I'm seeing there. So anyway, what I'm going to do uh, next, and uh, that will be probably the beginning of the next video. Um, I've got to reassemble the plane. I'm not really so much worried about putting the electronics in it. I just want to get everything put back together again um, just to make sure everything is going to be golden before I start covering. Uh, because if any little changes need to be made, now's the time to do it. So, um, yeah, so what we'll do is let's kind of call this a shorter little video, hopefully a shorter little video. Um, and then uh, uh, next week we'll... Uh, We'll start covering. Later.